Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on One Piece on chapters 890 and the new chapter that just got subbed out or translated today, 891. Now, like what I did with Nanatsu no Taizai, I was waiting for One Piece's new chapter to get released in its translated or subbed format, and I'll do 890 with this chapter. But you know, like, um, because it was on break last week, etc., or whatever it is, um, it was gonna get released late next week when I realized it. So if anything else, let's just get this started. I 890. We had to it that I see a coloring page which is pretty slick. I mean like um, it involves Luffy with Carrot and then Man Cherry, Fujitora, Boy Hancock, and then get to see Marco the Phoenix and Big Mom right there and the Dog Duke or something. I thought the coloring page right there was really pretty cool in 890. Alright, so if anything else, let's continue. We had to it that um, Big Mom is getting told by the other people of the Charlotte Pirate Crew by saying that Big Mom is actually getting very thin. And we had to it that Big Mom's going rampaging on the Thousand Sunny right now. And even like, um, and we had to it that. Jinbei says there's no cake on this ship or something, you know? And Big Mom says, Don't be stupid, you know don't be stu don't be stupid. You know, my son told me there was a cake here, and if it isn't, then I'll take my eldest son eldest son's life with my own hands. Even Peroline's like, Oh man, now she's now she remembers how conscious is she. I thought I could deceive her, Peroline stuff. And we had to it that Big Mom says, You dare calling my son a liar, I'll kill you. We have to it that um, that Big Mom tries to kill Jinbei with a giant flaming sword, and we have to it that Jinbei is blocking, tries to block um, the sword's attack with Karagi with like um, with his like um, hockey or something, and ends up throwing him into the sea apparently. And we have to it that like um, Big Mom tells the crew to give. Um, Give the cake to her as she's very hungry. And we have to it that Nami's trying to say, Just stop for a moment. What are you doing? And Big Mom says, You want me to stop? Then tell me where the hell it is. And we have to it that, like, um, that Brooke was trying to, that everyone is trying to, like, um, stop Big Mom from rampaging with um, Big Mom almost killing Nami and Chopper blocking her attack. And we had to it that, like, um, Brooke's like, oh man, what, this is bad, we gotta put out the shit right now, because it's on fire. And we had to it that Jinbei jumps out of the, jumps out of the, jumps out of the water with his, with the help of Jinbei's ability with the water, splashing Big Mom with it. And we had to it that Jinbei ends up launching a powerful attack to, like, um, Big Mom by saying, Fishman Karate Special Technique Vagabond Drill. And... Bounces her out of the water almost, but with the help of Zeus, Nami managed, um, Big Mom managed to save herself from being drowned or something. We have to it that, um, Big Mom's about to, like, um, do a major, like, um, big slice or something, but apparently, like, um, we have to it that Nami tries to distract, like, um, Zeus with, um, th with, um, whatchamacallit, um... He, Nami tries to distract Zeus with Nami's um, intention of fireballs or something, and we have to it that, like, um, Zeus zapped Nami, but it was actually Brooke that took the fall, but I, it doesn't affect me one dang bit. We, ha we have to it that, like, Brooke tries to distract them by saying, hey, indeed, but can you, and we have to it that Big Mom says, you can't fight me, Soul King, you couldn't even land a scratch on me. And Brooke says, I know, but would you at least show me your panties, maybe, as a way to, like, um, distract, 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 distract her. And then Brooke's like, oh, yep, it is done. Three verse humming soul, arrow notch slash. And we have to it that, um, Brooke managed to slice, um, Zeus in two right now. And we have to it that, like, um, Brooke says, we were aiming for Zeus the entire time. And we have to it that static electricity black ball came from, like, um, 
came from Nami and ends up managing to like um, zap Big Mom but also Zeus as well. Even everyone's like this, you gotta be kidding me, what's going on here? And we have to it that Big Mom gets saved by Prometheus and they manage to escape for a bit. And we have to it that like um, Brooke brings Zeus to Nami by saying he doesn't have enough energy to go wild anymore. And we have to it that Nami ends up grabbing Zeus, Zeus right now and says, you seem to me mistaken. I wasn't asking you to be my friend. I ask once more. Do you want to be my slave or do you want to die? Zeus is like in that little cute little puffball thing and Nami threatens him by saying, So, be my slave or death? Which one would you prefer? Zeus is like, Ah, oh, frick, I'm so dead. And Big Mom, apparently who took some damage apparently because she's not really big at her peak or something or I don't know. Big Mom is going after Prometheus, going after the Thousand Sunny where the Straw Hats is with Prometheus. And that is the end of chapter 800, um, 890. Right now I'm going to get into the recap of 891, but this chapter right here of 891 was actually pretty slick. I actually really enjoyed it, and the way how it's going, I'm looking forward to see how this is going to like um, be some kind of turning point possibly for both like for all of our characters in general. So if anything else, let's go. We have to it that um, some citizens of Big Bomb's Island are being surprised seeing that like um, that the mirrors are being broken. Even right now, some of them are thinking in their minds by saying, man, Stra is Straw Hat really that strong? And they even say that, I can't believe his fight with Dog's Tooth is literally in the mirror world and has gone on for like this long. It's already 9.30 this wall. As one of, um, what's his name? Tamago is talking about it, and we see Susie and that freaking bird-like thing, which I don't give two hells about them, um, are just like um, hearing about what's been going on. But we all know that Stussy, or whatever her name is, is CP0, so that's not something that we should like undermine so much. So she's my concern, because I know she's going to have some kind of role to play later. But aside from that, we have to it that... Um, that one of the um, sisters of Dog's Tooth apparently is just watching Luffy fight right now and he's taking a lot of hits. And they say that we've been shooting at him for a while but <laughs> he's moving so fast we can't even do a thing. And we have to it that one of, uh, one of the sisters just stabbed him, with the, stabbed him with the fork by saying you idiots. I have 41 older brothers and 40 of them have been selecting me as the winner of the little of the best little sister award. So I'm super popular, okay? Let me tell you something. But brother Katsukuri is the favorite of all 38 of his little sisters and he's beloved by his little brothers as well. I've got a lot of rivals. And we have to it that this little sister that keeps bragging about being popular, etc. says, "I Everyone wants to be everyone wants to be Dog Tooth's favorite. I'm the beloved little sister. I'll become the little sister king. My gosh, dude. Okay, her name is like um no she's known to be the 33rd daughter of the Charlotte family, and she is called Charlotte Flambe, Katakuri fan club leader and special forces captain. I'm thinking my mind, you're kidding me. Charlotte Flambe, a bubblegum girl? No, she is bubblegum. She's Lady Flambo or something. And we have two that the underlings go We want to be loved to dogs too, too, as well. But the the girl Flambe or Charlotte Flambe says no one gives a sh about you, okay? So aside from that, Flambe says for someone who's giving my brother so much trouble, I gotta say no one should be bear witness to this, okay? He should always be perfect. I don't want anyone to lose their love for him at all. You hear me? And we have to it that the we go we go to a scene with Dogs Tooth and Luffy fighting each other, and while like um. While wow, Flambe is talking about like um how Luffy is just being trouble right now, his opponent is being that she even compliments Luffy being very persistent and sh and the wounds he's been taking on is very fatal right now and she he should be dead. Not to mention like every every time he gets up, it's really funny and pathetic. You see a bloody blooded soaked filthy monkey. Even Charlotte Flambe is actually complimenting Luffy in an insulting way by saying she, he's holding his own against Katakuri. Katakuri, who apparently is hit, hitting hit, hitting Luffy hard with his like um attacks right now with Musou Donuts or something, even hits him hard with like um hockey punches, etc. He goes like, Lu Katakuri was trying to wonder what Luffy is doing, and he's wondering like, did he try to dodge that? And 
And we had to it that Katakuri is like, why won't you just freaking die already and end up... And then he ends up kicking Luffy right into like um, the... Um, right into the mirror, mirror pillar or something. And Luffy managed to break out of there somehow. And we have to it that like um, Katakuri tells Luffy, I don't think you get it. That just falling down is in it's itself shameful. And we have to it that... Katakuri continues his attack against Luffy, and Luffy getting hit harder than before still endears it without having no issue or problem at all. And we have to it that, like, um, Katakuri tells Luffy, like, frustrating, isn't it? You try to stand, so I prevent you from standing. You try to throw a punch with your left hand, I hit you in your left shoulder. You try to throw a punch with your right hand, so I hit you with your right shoulder. Even Katakuri, who's maybe a little exhausted, because it looks like he says, it looks like he's panting one time, and says, and as a result, you've been reduced to an idiot that can only grow frustrated. This is what it means to be read like a book. And Luffy remembering maybe some words from Rayleigh by telling, by telling him back then, or he's remembering the words of Rayleigh by saying, attacks have willpower behind them, an aura to them. Don't just flail about wildly, Luffy. And therefore, Luffy attacks... Katakuri with his elephant gun, but Katakuri's Muso donuts and block mochi over managed to like um managed to maybe overpower him, but Luffy managed to like go on against Katakuri's attack, and Katakuri's like, hold on, I was right. He's managing to see the future like me, so it looks like Luffy is able to see the future a bit that Katakuri is most afraid of. He therefore ends up using telling Luffy, don't get up anymore. Your big plan is no secret to us. And we have to it that Katakuri confesses to Luffy by saying, Chaco Island at 1am. Of course your fa friends will be crushed before they can make it to Chaco Island. Waiting for them are my little brothers and, and the battleships. And they await you too. Should you manage to make it out of there? But we have to it that Luffy says, I promise that I'll make it out of these mirrors. And Katakuri's like, do you not understand a single word that I've been saying? You're not going to make this out alive and your friends will be dead. We have to it that we get to a scenery switch with Sanji and everyone else finishing the giant giant cake right now, which is pretty slick. And we have to it that Pudding and Chifun are pretty surprised. And Pudding therefore tells Sanji, I wonder about that. We may finish the cake, but this cake is already knowing that your friends might be dead. I mean... She's saying, we may finish this cake, but your friends might be dead already. And even if they're alive, mommy's not, mama's not going to like this cake. We'll have, we'll have carried this cake off for nothing. And therefore, Sonny says, my dear. <laughs> and then, like, like, Pudi's like, what the hell am I saying right now? <laughs> or something. And Chip was like, what's wrong with you, Pudding? Etc. We have to it that it goes back to the mirror world. And, and we have to it that... Um, Luffy tells Katakuri, I'm going to clobber you and make it out of these mirrors because they're believing me, believing in me right now. And therefore, Sanji says the same thing about that. We have to it that Chopper transforms into his, like, um, monster point form. And we have to it that, like, um, Nami tries to convince Chopper, what are you doing? It's not going to work. But Chopper says, I got to do something to buy time. I'll... I'll bring mom and bring her down to the depths with me if I have to. And we have to it that mom Ma ends up blowing up with Prometheus to a giant soul right now. And Prometheus says, run as far, far as you wish, but it's not going to work. We have to it that, like, um, that, um, big Mo that big mom's soul is literally being large right now as Brooke realizes, like, um, so that's a Yonko's soul, right? And we have to it that Big Mom says, It's quite fun now, then give me the cake right now. And we have to it that um, Jinbei realizes that that giant fireball right there, even water won't do a thing. And somehow, Nami sees a ship far away, and we see to it that Big Mom says, What's this wonderful aroma? And I'm thinking in my mind, Oh my gosh, they're here! They're freaking here! Looking forward to it. Oh my gosh. So, aside from that, it looks like Big Mom might stop her attack, and the cake that Sanji brought with him that Nami sees afar and sees them over there, they arrive. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is going to be good. 
So yeah, I did recap chapter 890, which you already know about, which you don't care much about. But 891 is really like, um, is what I was, I was like, really surprised about. I mean, it involves Luffy against Katakuri, you know, and we get a new character of the Charlotte family, which is what? Um, Charlotte Flambe or something? The 33rd daughter whatsoever? <coughs> yeah. But, aside from that, it looks like Luffy is like, Almost reading the, the, reading the, what you may call it, the future just like Katakuri. And that's what Katakuri is mostly afraid about. And therefore, Luffy, Luffy and Sanji gets ready to like, um, take on their opponents. With Sanji using the cake that he's made with chiffon and pudding. And then we have to it that Luffy's getting ready to take on Katakuri with everything he's got. And he, if he's able to read the future just like Katakuri, then I'm pretty sure this is going to be a ch major... Turn, turn, turning point for Luffy alone. So until then, I will see you guys in my next video. So I'm off as our people. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot, toot, toot.